Hi guys, Yuli here. I'm just going to do a quick tutorial today on um, how to apply lipstick, specifically really red lipstick. Um, it's really popular and I myself am 28 years old and I've never really worn lipstick and so <laughs> it was a learning process for me when I decided that wearing lipstick was something I was going to do. It was going to be part of my look and part of my sometimes daily routine. It's actually um, not something I do a lot because a lot of my social activities revolve around food and reapplying your lipstick is really lame. But this method uh, should cut down on the number of times you need to reapply. So let's get started. Um, you only really need two things, but unfortunately for those people like me who think it's weird or trashy, you're going to need a lip liner. This is actually key, and I'm going to show you how to use it properly so that no one ever sees it or ever knows that you were wearing a lip liner. So there are two ways that you can wear a lip liner. You can either purchase a lip liner to match the shade of lipstick you're going to be wearing, or what I think is a better idea is purchase a lip shade that's going to be close to your lip color. Is that a focus? There we go. So I just have this um, Joe Fresh. Joe, Joe, um, and it's close close to my lip color, so that if in the case my lipstick wears off, my lip liner will just be my lip color and not noticeable. And there's also a way of applying the lip liner, so it's actually not just the outline of your mouth. You you know what I'm talking about when you see women or people walking around with just the lip liner, not a good look. Um, so let's get started on this part. So what you start off doing is you're going to, to get the perfect cupid bow, let's make an X. It's hard to do. And then you accent the bottom because you don't want to go outside of your actual lip color to make your lips look bigger because it's not going to work, it's going to look weird. So you just find that line there, find the corners of your mouth, and then outline. This is really hard to do in the viewfinder, so I'm just going to do it on my mirror here. Okay, so you've gone in, made your X, made your little corners, and now you've got the whole outline. So you're going to fill in your entire lip color with the lip liner. This is going to help the actual lip color product stay on your lip longer. Okay. So my lips are covered in lip liner. Looks a little weird. So the lip color that I use is, I don't even know, I have to look at it, it's Revlon Color Burst. Um, what I like about this, you might have seen these in the drugstore, is that it's like a crayon. The uh, like application of the lipstick is totally different than any other lip color I've ever seen and it makes total sense, like ergonomically. I also like this color because it's matte. It's also a really bright, audacious kind of neon color. So I like the way it applies because you just kind of go and then roll it in on the sides and go in and, you know, do the finer detail work.
So there's that. But we're not done yet. It is actually important to blot. I would say do it at least two or three times. I know this seems like a waste of product, but it will actually help it bond or stay. I don't know. It works. And one final time. So hopefully you don't look like a clown after you've applied your awesome red lipstick. Your patriarchy smashing red lipstick. Um, I think that's it. <laughs> I hope you uh, learned something from this. I hope you, if you ever wanted to rock red lips and never had the balls to do it, um, will now go out and rock those red lips. Because if I can do it, you can do it. You'll be signing off. Have an awesome day, guys.